Hey everyone, John Velasco here once again with Phone Arena. I've been checking out the Motorola Droid X2 just for a little bit of time now. And this time around though, I'm just going to run some, a couple of benchmark tests just to give you a quick tally of what kind of results you'll get out of the handset. But as far as the, as far as the numbers are concerned, in terms of just operation and usability, it's pretty quick, especially with, with its 1 GHz NVIDIA Tegra 2 dual-core processor. For most basic operations, you can tell here with the navigation between the home screens, it's pretty quick and fluid with its movement. Same thing applies with the app panel. And when you go when you do things like web browsing, in all honesty, it's still a fast handset itself. You can tell with the kinetic scrolling, pretty smooth and accurate. Pinch gestures to zoom in, it's fairly responsive. So you definitely notice that there's a sense of speed with the handset. So let's quickly run the uh, first test. We'll run the quadrant uh, quadrant benchmark here, just to see what kind of numbers it's going to pull. And we already did it. And we're pleasantly surprised, although it might not be as uh, as 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 fast as the uh, Samsung Galaxy S2 or some of the other handsets out there that sport dual core processors, it's still pretty respectable on its own terms. So we'll wait here for it to finish uh, loading up the first test. We'll do it a second time just to make sure it gives us close to the same scores here. But as we said, uh, the handset's still fairly quick for generally most operations. So for gaming, for web browsing, it seems to be good enough for the most part. And if you could tell here, the frame rate's pretty steady, around 40 to 30 to 40 frames per second, with most of the graphical components of the of the uh, test here. So it's almost done. Let's just see what we get. So let's check it out. So this time, it looks like it managed to get 2687, which is a pretty good mark. Uh, again, better than the Nexus One with uh, Android 2.2 and above. Same thing as the original Motorola Droid X, almost doubles the results of that handset. So pretty good. And the numbers back up its overall uh, capacity. So let's run it again one more time here, just to show you it. And as you notice, it didn't take that much time in, in uh, completing the entire benchmark test, which again goes to show you the type of processing power that the uh, 1 GHz dual core processor has with the uh, Droid X2. It's almost done here, so it looks like it's running a smooth frame rate again at 30 frames per second, 30 to 40, general, generally hovering around there, which just again gives you a good indication that it's a fairly fast handset. And we're almost done here, 30, 30 to 40 frames per second again. And after this, we should be able to see it. And here we go. So let's take a look this time. And it pulls in 2431, so a little bit less, but still over the 2000 mark, which is uh, pretty impressive again for any handset out there in the market. Lastly, I'm just going to show you another test here, the Antutu benchmark test. I already ran it because it does take a little bit of time. You can tell here with the uh, results here, some of the, uh, some of the total score it gave it at 3382. And when you check that out versus some of the other handsets out there, for example, the Motorola Zoom and the Optimus 2X are slightly ahead of this device, but it easily beats out other devices out there uh, before it, like the Xperia X10, the Nexus One. Uh, the aging here and everything else below it. But still, as we said, as far as just normal operation with the handset, it's pretty fast and smooth, so you'd expect a fast handset. So if you want to learn more about the Motorola, Motorola Droid X2 and some of its benchmark tests, you can check out our website, phonerena.com. Thanks, guys.